Hi, I want to go over some of the tools I use to develop a Camel K application. So these are just my personal preference, but you're welcome to use that as a reference for yourself. So I use Visual Studio Code as my source code editor. Uh, the reason I chose it is because it's lightweight, uh, doesn't take up too much space in my computer, and it's actually available on a lot of uh, major operating systems. So one of the cool things in VS Code is the extension marketplace. So it allows you to add different languages, debuggers, or tools uh, for your own habits. So here are the extensions I installed uh, to develop my Camel K application. Make sure you have the Apache Camel toolings uh, installed. Once it's installed, it's going to turn into the uh, Manage button, as you can see from here. And then you will be able to view your Camel K status in the left-hand Explorer console as well. After going into a Java application that's uh, running a Camel K route, I can start writing my Camel route and the, the extension comes with um, most of the Camel DSL support. So you will be able to use the Camel auto completion uh, capabilities so that you don't have to look up the documentations all the time while you're developing. It's a really big help if you're not familiar with all the components at the first time. And another cool thing about the extension is that as a developer, you never have to leave this IDE in order to uh, run your Camel K application because it comes with a lot of helper. So you can start with uh, your Camel K integration uh, with dependencies or with properties or with secrets that's available on OpenShift. And speaking of OpenShift, you probably want to have the OpenShift uh, connector extension. Basically, it helps you with interacting with the OpenShift cluster, so you get a more streamlined developer experience uh, while using this extension, so you don't have to ever leave the IDE as well. But if you're someone like me that likes to experiment on a lot of capabilities in Camel K, then you probably want to install the Camel K CLI. Basically, this is a binary file that is installed in your own system and then this one is going to, this binary file is going to talk to the Camel K operators on your either Kubernetes or OpenShift cluster. So there are several different versions of Camel K CLI that's available on the website. Make sure you go and check the version that you have in your Kubernetes or OpenShift cluster. Make sure that both versions are matched. I would probably go for the stable build, um, but if you're more experienced or more adventurous, you're always welcome to try the nightly build. And now as a developer, you have all the essential bits and pieces that's needed to run a Camel K application in your machine. Now let's take a look at OpenShift or a Kubernetes cluster. It's not easy to come by one that's available for free on the internet. So what I would do is go to learn.openshift.com and it provides a very good playground for people that wants to use the cluster and then don't have access to one of them. So all you have to do is go to the website, click on the playground and select OpenShift 4.x playground. At the time of this recording, the available version is 4.2. But Camel K works on uh, almost all the OpenShift 4.x version. So if you see other versions, that's okay. You can keep going as well. And of course, there's other options where you can just install a Kubernetes cluster or an OpenShift cluster in your local machine. That is another option. But in this case, you don't have to install anything. All you have to do is just go to the internet and, st and start up a cluster on the cloud so you can exper experiment with Camel K. So once you log into the playground, it's going to ask you to log in as admin or a user. So in this case, we're going to log in as admin first because we want to install the operator. So log into the, uh, the website using the admin admin password. It's going to give you all the permission as an admin administrator on OpenShift cluster. And then you see all the options available on the left hand side. So now you log in into the console as an admin. What happens now is you probably want to connect to this OpenShift cluster by logging into it from your local machine. So there's two ways you can do it. The first way is to use the OC command that's available on the top right hand corner using the token to log in using the OpenShift COI. But if you're not familiar with COI, that's okay. Go back to your VS code and then go back to the OpenShift extension and log in from there as well. So all you have to do is just pr provide the 
OpenShift URL and then also give the credential in your extension and then it is going to start logging into the OpenShift from your machine and then you see all the available resource as an admin because you log in as an admin on uh, OpenShift and I'm going to quickly create a namespace for myself this will be the project that I will be working on to install my CamelK application. The next thing is to install the heart and soul of CamelK, of course, which is the operator. So in OpenShift, there is something called Open Operator Hub. Um, so CamelK operator is very easy to install if you have the Operator Hub. All you have to do is look up CamelK in the Operator Hub, and it's going to bring up the CamelK operators and you can go ahead and install it. Make sure you install that in your namespace so it's easier to see what's going on in the operator. And once the operator is up, you, you are ready to develop your first CamelK application. Quick summary. I have VS Code as my developer toolings and I also have the extension to help me with developing CamelK and I also have OpenShift as my running platform. Thank you.